In my case, for the fonts to look good, you have to use a nerd font mono. It doesn't matter the nerd font you use, but it has to be mono. This has to be configured in the bar module that is in the address shown on the screen. The first step is to configure the scripts that control the bar information. Each of the separations is controlled by a script, which can be made in Dash, Bash, Perl, and it seems to me that also in Python, but I do not remember, so you would have to see the documentation. The leftmost section is the one for the hard drive used. Fortunately it works correctly so we leave it like that. The next one is the one for the volume, which does not work, so we proceed to fix it. In this file, we have to configure if we use Awesomexer or Pulsadio. In my case, I am using Awesomexer, so I am going to uncomment this line. This file had a bug in the programming, I already fixed the problem on GitHub, so you should not have any problem. The next problem to fix is the temperature of the processors. For this, we need to find the correct direction of the readings. This is a process that you are going to do manually, or you can install an application that detects the temperature automatically. In my case, I prefer to do it manually. And that's it, we have finished solving the problems that the bar had, now we proceed to change the wallpaper. I am going to download this wallpaper and save it in the address shown on the screen, you are free to use the background and location you want. The important thing here is that we have to use a package called Fay. For the background to be applied at login, we can define it in the i3 configuration file or in the x session file, that's up to you. I usually define it in the i3 configuration file. The next step is to install the volume icon, and to do this, we have to compile it. The process is the same as for i3 blocks, download, follow the instructions, and at the end run sudo make install. We see that the icon works, now we just need to add it to the login. So again, you decide if you want to define it in the i3 configuration file or in the x session file. In case you are using Fedora, Arch or Void, you have to use the command above. It is very possible that the buttons to increase the volume do not work. For this, we can use the i3 volume script. This program does not need to be compiled, as it is a simple shell script. We clone the repository and follow the instructions. We have to run a script depending on whether we use Awesomexer or Pulsadio, and we also have to specify the position of the bash script. We are using i3 blocks not i3 status, so we have to change these global variables. And that's it for the volume. Now the volume buttons should work correctly. 
If it does not work, it is probably because you are not configuring the file correctly, or because you are using the ALSA Mixer script instead of Pulsadio or vice versa, or you did not give permissions to execute the i3 volume script. The configuration of the transparencies is controlled in the PCOM file that we linked before. You can use the XRender or GLX option. This depends on each hardware. You should try which one works better for you. I will leave you a link where you can learn more about the configuration of PCOM. The one you have here is the one I have used for several years. To finish, I am going to replace the Kitty terminal that we downloaded by the Debian native package. It is not necessary that you do this, I simply do it because I trust a little more in the Debian packages. And that's it, we are completely done configuring i3. In case you have a laptop there is an additional class where we learn how to create an icon with the battery using ChatGPT for the i3 blocks bar. In the next video, we will do the installation and compilation of plugins for Rofi.